everybody it's Friday morning got that right uh, I have to go to the post office and ship out the boxes of the stuff that I actually did sell I've relisted everything that didn't sell uh, and then I have to go to Walmart and take care of some groceries <sighs> cats again so, get myself a little something else I can eat at home. And uh, that's going to be my morning. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I haven't looked for uh, work today. I, Friday's are usually not a good day for that. But I'll, if I come home, if I don't feel like working on the floor, that's what I'll be doing. Searching for uh, possible positions. So that's going to be my day. I hear Fred's going home. That sounds awesome. Val's going to be coming back here on the 18th. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, it's getting a little uh, boring around here without her. Got to hide Daryl. All right, so here I'm at the post office. I got a big box because I'm shipping out that gong. So I gotta put it on the back docks. He's not sick. He's not. I need something to help to my foot and lift my foot up and down. You know. You can use you use yeah, your blue I thing. Gotta make movements. Use right. your blue thing. But you're supposed to. You're use not it from supposed here. to kick it any huh? you Start you using your knee. Left up, I, down, up, yeah, down. Yeah, I, I know. I was. That's what he said. To oh my! Everybody, check out the lone wolf sexy knee. Dressed. <laughs> so you're going home today. What are you gonna do? Go to hell home today. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to say, go to Disneyland! <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Nervous? I want to get the hell out of here. <laughs> Are you nervous? Nervous? Nah. Yeah? Feeling good? Yeah. Yeah? Good. Yeah. You've done good. Hey, sweetie. Hi, baby. How are you? I'm good. I talked to you earlier about the uh, interview that uh, someone called me for an interview. That's great. It turned out to be a scam. Oh, really? Yeah. Because, you know, it, uh, nowadays, I don't know how what they think they're doing because um, I, 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 what they were saying to me didn't make a lot of sense. It kind of sounded like a cattle call, and they didn't have didn't seem to have my resume in front of them. That was my first problems with it. So uh, I, I kept asking, "What's the name of your company? What's the name of your company?" I asked them a couple of times. So I, I wrote it down. I even have a phone number from this lady. Uh, I looked it up, and uh, it just this big red flag. This is a scam. It's a real company. But uh, it's a cattle call. They're, they uh, they are looking for salespeople to um, uh, sell crap insurance to old people and idiots. So, How crazy is that? But uh, yeah, I I feel violated. I mean, come on, I'm I'm looking for a job. I don't need this kind of crap. Yeah. It's it's painful. That's they got I'm me so excited. excited. Yeah. Okay, Pa, you're all done in the hospital now, so you get to put your necklace back on. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Okay. You Indian <laughs> warrior, you. Yep. <laughs> Even though we don't know what type of Indian you are, Aunt Barbara is going to find out. 
And we'll know for sure. I don't know if anybody will ever find out. Aunt Barbara said she's trying. So. Yeah. But we know you are part Indian, and we know you are a very strong warrior. You've made it through a lot of tough crap in your life. And this was just another step. Geronimo. <laughs> <laughs> so, you all dressed and ready to go? Yep. All dressed up and nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> so, we're ready. We're just waiting for the last of the paperwork. And then we are headed out. Mm-hmm. My nephew's here to pick us up and take us home. Very excited. Cannot wait to get home. I want to take a nice hot shower and just crawl into bed and sleep for several hours. Yup. By the time I go home, I'm going to be tired. <laughs> yeah. You will. You'll want to sleep, too. Yeah. Oh. What's the matter, buddy? What's the matter, Freckles? Do you miss Mommy? Do you miss mommy? Huh? You look so sad. Come on. Come sit in the Come sit in my lap. Come on, buddy. What can I do for you, huh? Huh? What can I do for you? Come here. Come here. Yeah. You miss mommy, I know. I do too. Daryl's a poor substitute too, isn't he? So he's been really lethargic and, and sad looking all day today. And uh, I know I don't give him as much attention as I should. I've been busy. And then of course, uh, Boomer monopolizes all of my time. So trying to give him some attention right now, I had to pretty much block everybody else out of the room so I can do it. But I think he's just hasn't been getting enough attention. Okay guys, so we finally made it home. I'd say we've been home for about an hour or so. Just got dad settled in. Mom and Aunt Barbara are going through his medications to see which medications he still has to have um, so they can go over to Walmart and pick up prescriptions and a few things that he still needs from the store. He's kind of tuckered out, so we just put him to bed. Okay. I have a dog licking my lips. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit for a few minutes and then I think, I'm gonna take a shower and retire early tonight. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Kind of beat, so. That's what I'm doing right now. Where are you going? Did you did you ask my permission? No. Can I go driving? Okay. <laughs> Bye. My mother and her dogs that are worshiping her. Are they always like this with you? I haven't seen them in a few days. Yes, they're always like this, whether I see them or not. I sit in the chair and I have them with me now. All right. So. So. So as you all know, we've been talking about everything that's been going on with my dad. And I've been saying how my mom needs surgery on her knee and on her shoulder because she has a torn rotator cuff. Well, she went for an MRI mm -hmm. on her knee today. And this is what they told her. I need surgery. Okay. I have a cracked knee. I have something, something, something. I don't know what they said going on. My bones are rubbing together. I have. A, I need a whole new knee replacement. So she has a broken knee, and she's been walking around on her broken knee. For the past not... two and a half weeks. Okay, Aunt Barbara was with her, so she, Aunt Barbara is also a nurse, so she's going to explain it in more detail. She has a problem with with the part of her knee that holds the ball of your knee. The ball goes into a little cup. Her cup is turned around this way, and the ball is sitting up here, and the ball is rubbing on bone. Besides that, she has a big crack in there, 
in the, the uh, bottom part and in the ball part she has a break. So she's got two different types of breaks and both the bones rubbing on each other and he doesn't know how she could be walking without a lot, a lot of pain. I mean a lot of pain, but I had to bear it because Fred needed his surgery first. I don't even want to go right now because he still needs me, but I'm, I have to take care of this. So I'm going to hire someone or I'll get someone to come in and take care of us because we need help. Help! So I am here until the 18th and I will do what I can do, but I don't know. After that, I kind of regret buying my ticket already um, because I feel like I should now stay longer to be here to help my mom, but I got to get back and have my surgery done. It is what it is. So, um, you said I will survive. I will survive. Sing it, Ma! No, I won't sing it, Ma. Come on, Ma! <laughs> no way. I will survive. As long as I know how to live. Long. I know I will survive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're done. Cut. <laughs> nice way to say cut. <laughs> that was the dog. That was the dog. <laughs> that was the dog. She snores. Yeah. There we go. Nice little hat. What do you think, Bones? Daryl's pretty. Okay, so, y'all see what Kevin's been doing to Daryl. Well, Miss Angie was over the house, and she was playing all innocent that she wasn't part of it. But, if you watch yesterday's vlog, she was caught red-handed being part of it. So, not only do I have to come up with something to pay back Kevin, I need to come up with something to pay back Miss Angie. That's right. So, I'm taking ideas from all of you to help pay back Kevin and now Miss Angie. Let me have your ideas, people. <laughs>